Hi guys, so here's a quick video to help you with your revision on phasor multiplication and phasor division and converting from rectangular to polar form. These are questions that have come up quite a bit that people have come to ask me about, so hopefully this will make you a bit more certain about what's going on. So the main thing to do is phasor multiplication. This is the situation where we have some magnitude at an angle multiplied by another magnitude at another angle. So I've just chosen an example. I've got a magnitude of 20 at an angle of zero degrees multiplied by a second phasor, which is a magnitude of five at an angle of minus 45 degrees. So how do we solve this? Well, what we actually get is the solution is magnitude A times magnitude B at an angle of theta, which was the first angle, plus phi, which was the second angle. So I'll just zoom out a bit so you can see. So we've ended up with these magnitudes are multiplied together and these phases are added together. That's what's happening there. So on an example, what do we get? Well, to find the magnitude, it's 20 times 5, which gives us a value of 100. And it's going to be an angle of 0 plus minus 45 degrees. So that's what I've done here. So 0 plus minus 45. So that's the first angle plus the second angle. So what do we get? We get an answer of 100 at an angle of minus 45 degrees. So the magnitudes people tend to be fine on, it's just the phase to keep an eye out on. So let's move on to phase division. Well, phase division, we've got this situation where we've got a magnitude A at an angle of theta over a magnitude B at an angle of phi. So what's the situation here? Well, we want to end up with the magnitudes divided and the phases subtracted. So it's magnitude A over magnitude B at an angle of the top angle minus the second angle. So with the multiplication, we added them together. With the division, we subtract them. So let's look at an example. Now we've got the same numbers I used before. So we've got a magnitude of 20 at an angle of zero degrees divided by a magnitude of five at an angle of minus 45 degrees. I'm using the negatives because um, it's a slightly more complex case. So I'm showing you the most difficult ones. So what do we do? To find the magnitude, it's 20 over five at an angle of zero minus minus 45 degrees. So I've put it in brackets here just to make it extra clear what's going on. And so this gives us an answer of a magnitude of four at an angle of positive 45 degrees. And this was a question people were saying, why is it plus 45? It's because you take the top angle and you subtract the bottom angle. So it's minus minus 45, which makes it positive. The final thing relating a little bit to these um, phase forms of numbers is uh, converting from rectangular to polar. So uh, this is one of the questions, or similar to one of the questions in the lecture notes that I was being asked about. So the top one, we've got 20 at an angle of zero degrees. It's just a number I picked from up here. Um, so we can deal with this, we're happy with this. This time on the bottom, we've got our number in rectangular form. So it's got 100 plus 100j. So that's 100 in the real domain and 100 in the imaginary domain. Um, so people are saying, how do we end up with this type of notation? This is purely, you put these numbers into your calculator, so 100 real, 100 imaginary, and you get out a magnitude of 141 at an angle of plus 45 degrees. Once we've taken this step and we've gone to polar form, now we just follow our rules that we had before to divide them. So it's 20 divided by 141, which gives us a magnitude of 0.14, and then it's an angle of zero minus 45 degrees. So this gives us an angle of minus 45 degrees. And that's how you do it. I hope that's helpful.